Hi, this is Mike with Party of Four Crafts again with an Inkscape lesson. Tonight I'm going to be doing the basics of how to do a trace bitmap. If you download pictures from the internet, assuming you have permission to do so on a website like Pixabay where everything is free for commercial use and royalty free, most of them, unless you have a paid subscription, most of them will come as bitmaps and you can't edit those, you can't cut them, all you can do is engrave them. So if I click on them with the edit path by nodes arrow or pressing F2, there are no nodes and I can't click or edit anything. In order to be able to edit or to create an outline of it or to change some of the colors to blue for scoring or red for cutting, it has to be an SVG or a vector file. So to do that, um, this is a bitmap file. I want to convert it to paths or a vector. So I go up to path and click on trace bitmap. Now, because I'm showing you just the basics tonight, I'm going to show you the settings that I use 95% of the time. And luckily, they're pretty much the default settings that, that come up. Brightness cutoff threshold 0.45. I check remove background and live preview. If I don't do live preview, then nothing shows up on the screen and I can't tell when I have the right settings. So if I use those settings and click OK, you'll notice that a bunch of nodes just came up. So that looks pretty good. The difference between these two is negligible, but now this one is a vector and this one is still a bitmap. So if I wanted to say, for example, make his finger longer, I could click on those and now he has a longer finger. Or on this one, I, I can't click on his finger. There's nothing I can do to that one. I'm pretty happy with those settings, but let's say it was too light or there were pieces of the lot thin lines missing, then you could click on it again, go back in here and turn the threshold up. Uh, turning the threshold up makes it darker. Now click OK again, drag it over here, and you'll see that like the lines on his face here um, are darker in this one than they are in this one. This thin line right here is thicker here. So I don't know, it depends which one you prefer, whether you, you go with the higher settings or the lower settings. If it was too dark and areas where lines were close together started to fill in, then you could just do the same thing, only lower the threshold. Let's say we'll lower it down to 0 0.2 then you can see that everything got lighter when I did that. If I click OK and drag it over here, then all the lines are thinner. Uh, you can look at the tip of his finger again, and that line is really thin, and there's a, a bigger gap here. So that's what those settings do. Don't forget that once you click OK, it puts a copy over the old Santa Claus. And if you leave the old Santa Claus there, and you try to engrave something on your Glowforge, it won't work because you have a layer on top of a layer. And I see that error so many times that this is the third video that I've made where I mentioned that. So don't forget to drag your new vector off to the side. And if you're absolutely sure you have what you want, then delete um, your original bitmap, delete any extras so that there are no overlaps. Now, one bonus that I want to show you while we're here, you notice that this has a lot of nodes, too many nodes, and you couldn't work with those if you wanted to change a few things here or there. That would be nearly impossible to work with. So there's a tool that sometimes it works well and sometimes it doesn't. Path Simplify. Or look at the number of nodes just decreased greatly without much of a change of quality at all. There's not much difference in how that picture looks. Um, the finger is a little distorted now, but you could go in and fix that. I think that would be worth it for getting rid of so many of those nodes that were in there now. So much easier if I wanted to make his finger even longer. It's so much easier now because I simplified it. But sometimes when I do path simplify, it distorts the image so badly that I say, forget it. I just can't do that. And um, I never like stray nodes or funny looking nodes um, in my files. So I always zoom way in. And you'll notice, of course, now that I simplified it, you won't see any. But if I undo that path simplify and I zoom in on it, You'll see some of these small nodes right here. Whenever you see these small ones, like that one there, 
and in here a small node means you have a node on top of a node and this one right here is an example if I delete one it doesn't affect anything but that is gone sometimes it's just a stray node sitting on top of the actual node and that stray node is going to cause a phantom line to engrave across your image uh, when you put it in your laser and cut it so it's important to zoom way in on these nodes and delete the excess one so that one um, didn't change anything sometimes you'll delete a node and go whoa it changed everything because it wasn't the one on top that was the stray it was the one on the bottom that was the stray um, and then you have to drag one from on top of the other to get to the other one um, is the easiest way to do it and get rid of it even when it looks like this is a node with a line on either side of it that usually means that there are two nodes there but they're not exactly on top of each other so I go through and clean up all these nodes before I sell a file to somebody because I don't want phantom nodes in there or anything unexpected to happen when they cut a file and then you know leave a bad review or get disappointed and not come back as a repeat customer. So that's the basics of how to do a trace bitmap. Maybe in the future, I'll do some of the more advanced features that you used with grayscale and color images. But most of the bitmaps that I trace are black and white. And that's all you have to do to convert a bitmap into a, a useless that you can do um, far more things with than you can just engraving a bitmap. All right, thanks. If you enjoy these videos, subscribe so you get notified when more of them come out. And I appreciate you watching. Thanks.